Submitting files to our repository isn't rocket science. Welcome to the tutorial Publishing in Deposit Runs using the example of research data. If you want to publish your research data or publications as open access, the repository of the Technical University of Berlin might be an option for you. In this tutorial, we will show you how to submit your data in just a few easy steps. First of all, you need to visit the website of the repository and log in at the upper right corner of the site. Deposit ones can be used by every member of the TU Berlin. You can register for free by using your TU email address. If you are a former member of the university and you don't have a TU account anymore, then you can always contact the Deposit ones team. They will help you at getting a guest account. After your login, you will automatically land on the site My Deposit Once. Now you can choose between two different options to submit your data. On one hand, you can click on the red plus, which is located on the right above the search bar. On the other hand, you can also use the menu bar on the left. There you will have to click on New and after that on Item. In both cases, this pop-up window will appear. Use it to select which kind of files you want to submit. You have the choice between publications and research data. The third option called Avida is a special collection, which normally should not be relevant to you. Publications include text files, such as articles and dissertations. Research data, on the other hand, is the right option if you want to submit, for example, software or measurement data. This refers to all data that has been generated during planning, conducting and documenting your research. Once you have selected the correct collection for your data, this form will appear. There you can enter metadata used to describe your submission on a deeper level. Please note that certain metadata is mandatory and is therefore marked with an asterisk. An example for this would be the type, where you have to indicate the kind of data you are submitting. Guidance on these issues can be found on the A to Z help pages for deposit ones. Directly below the type, you can enter the affiliation. You will find your chair there either by clicking through everything hierarchically or by using the search slot. In some fields, you will find an Add More button. This is used, for example, to add additional persons as authors. When entering the title, the abstract and similar information about your files, you will also need to select the language used. The default option is English. Keywords are a little special in this regard, as you can enter the same term in different languages. Use a new field for each entry. Preferably, enter a maximum of five keywords in both English and German. Please also pay attention to the spelling rules of the respective language. When you get to the DDC class, you can either click through every option again or use the search slot. You have to describe the subject of your data up to the third level. Third-party funding sources or relationships to other published files are optional. You can use the internal notes field if you have a message for the reviewers of your submission. The last thing you will need to do is to license your data or publication. Please inform yourself thoroughly about the possibility of licensing your work before you fill in this field. Now you just have to attach your files to the metadata record. For uploading the files, you can use the area above the form. Open your file folder by clicking Browse. Another possibility is to pull your files from your already open folder on your desktop over to the marked area of the form. Make sure that you only use open file formats that are not proprietary but free to use. 
Recommendation for file formats can be found on our help pages. As soon as you have accepted the privacy policy and the deposit license at the end of the form, you can finally submit your file. The Deposit Once team then takes care of the formal review of the data, as well as its approval in the repository. You will be informed by email about the publication. Furthermore, it is always possible to save the progress of your submission during editing. You just have to use the buttons located at the end of the form. If you click the Save button, the current state of your submission will be saved, the form won't close, so you can simply keep working on it. If you click Save for later instead, you will save your progress, the form will close and you will be automatically redirected to My Deposit Once. There you will see all your submitted and published data, as well as your saved drafts. If you click the Edit button of a draft in My Deposit Once, you will get back to the corresponding form and will be able to continue working on it. You can also see all of your previously entered information by clicking View, or you can erase the draft via Delete. This was a tutorial publishing and deposit ones using the example of research data. If you have any further questions or problems, please feel free to contact our team at any time.